there's a lot of um, narratives that 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 paint a picture where it's inevitable there's going to be a very significant collapse, whether it be economic or or um, technology or whatever. I mean, all the way up to this whole solar flare thing, we're going to lose our atmosphere or the the pole shifting or whatever. It, the, all that doesn't really matter. I mean, it matters, but doesn't matter, right? Because when we are stepping outside of these paradigms of understanding that are forming our reality and the laws of our reality in which we think it all is so, none of that needs to be so. We can completely um, go through a pull shift and not have a major change or not have a major destruction happen in this reality because the earth is not what we think it is. This planet, what we call a planet, is not just this blue ball circling the sun flying through the galaxy no that's not true many 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 universes realities are unfolding itself on this plane of existence they're all unfolding themselves within the dream of the pachamama within the dream of the great mother pachamama means literally in Quechua realm of the great mother <laughs> you know it's like they call it right out in their in their language okay guys let me know if you're picking up what I'm putting down is this is this connecting for you I feel like I, I feel like there's a, a more and more um, beauty and in, and in, I guess hope's not quite the right word, but there's more and more potentials that are available to us in our awareness than ever before. So as things get more intense going in the other direction, we are also opening up to the possibilities in the opposite direction. In these, you know, or even maybe that's a more unified direction, we can say it. Because there's also the, um, the hijacking of the concept of hive mind. That is something that is fascinating um, and terrifying, depending on how you relate to it. But that's a whole nother tangent. Let me first check in with you guys if you guys if, if what I'm saying is is landing. You guys understand what I'm talking about with these potentials, field potentials. Now you know when a field potential is really limited because it will quite literally feel heavy, right? It'll feel heavy. You'll feel your nervous system will be triggered. You'll be on guard. Maybe your fight or flight is getting, getting um, um, kicked on. Maybe the, the, the feeling, thoughts and feelings are really negative as in critical, fault finding, um, looking for, you know, looking for fear places where to guard yourself, go into survival mode, okay? Those, that, those are examples of places that have a very limited field potential. And that's because there's only certain fields of consciousness that, that that environment can hold in place. A lot of this is due to consciousness grids, right? That's a real thing. <laughs> consciousness grids. So, uh, and there's other places where it's really easy to be uplifted and light and loving and kind and hopeful and aspiring and, and stuff like this. That's because that environment holds another kind of field potential and, and it's overlapping nesting dolls of energies. This is why forest bathing is so, so effective. And it's obvious when you go into a forest from a city center. I mean, the shift in the energy is absolutely obvious, even for someone who is not intuitive. They definitely can feel the change. And there's several people that I've talked to lately, or that I, well, that have come into my awareness, I should say like that. There's several people that have come into my awareness lately who really have that feeling, that thought that, you know, you know nature is their spiritual, um, their spiritual nourishment inspiration uh, teacher and I think this is very very um, common to men particularly but also to people that are confused and don't know which way to turn they just want to keep it simple okay I'm just I feel great in nature so therefore I'm going to do that and when they seek solitude within nature, then their own true nature inside of themselves starts to resonate with those fields and things come through and you have awakenings, you have downloads, you have healings, you have discoveries, you have um, 
parts of your own DNA that gets activated. 